Hello there. Are you ready for tonight's story? Well, tonight's story is a really, really, really old story that used to be told before there were even books. But then somebody came along and put it in a book. Her name was Heather Forrest, and she called the book Feathers. Are you ready? Once in a village, not far away, a woman whose tongue was sharp and unkind was accused of starting a rumor. She was brought before the village rabbi, protesting, what I said was in jest, just humor. My words were carried forth by others. I'm not to blame. But the victim cried for justice, saying, you have soiled my own good name. I can make amends, said the woman accused. I will take back my words and assume I'm excused. The rabbi listened to what she said and sadly thought as he shook his head, this woman does not understand her crime. She shall do it again and again in time. So he said to the woman accused, your careless words cannot be excused until you take my feather pillow to the market square, cut it open, and let the feathers fly through the air. When this task is done, bring back the feathers, every one. The woman reluctantly agreed, she thought. The wise old rabbi has gone mad indeed. But to humor him, she took his pillow to the village square. She cut it open. And feathers filled the air. She tried to snatch, she tried to catch, she tried to collect each one. But weary with effort, she quickly discovered the task could not be done. She returned with very few of the feathers in hand. I cannot bring them back. They have scattered over the land. I suppose, she sighed, as she lowered her head, they are like the words I can't take back from the rumor I spread. Cruel words like feathers fly. Cruel words reach far and wide. They leave the mouth a bitter rind. So may all your words, my friends, be kind. We have to be careful what we say about other people. When we start rumors, that is, when we tell stories about others that aren't true, or we're not sure are true, or even when they are true but they make somebody look bad, well, we can't ever take those words back. We tell somebody, and they tell somebody else, and they tell somebody else, and every time somebody gets told, sometimes the story gets worse and worse, and people get hurt by what we say. Once those words leave our mouths, they're like the feathers in the rabbi's pillow. They get scattered all over the place, and we can't take them back. So we have to be careful what we say. And when somebody tells us a story about somebody else, let's don't go and keep retelling it to our friends, especially if we're not sure it's true. In this day and age, there's something called Facebook. It's on the computer. It's on our phones. It's on our pads. And sometimes grown-ups post all kinds of stories and rumors 
on this thing called Facebook. And a lot of them are simply not true. And they don't bother to check out to see if they're true before they pass it on to others. And before you know it, they've hurt somebody with something that's not true. That's not the way we're supposed to be. We are supposed to look for the good in others. And we are supposed to get along with each other. And that's what Jesus taught us. Jesus always spoke the truth. And Jesus wants us always to speak the truth. Because sometimes while the truth hurts, it doesn't hurt nearly as much as a half-truth or even an out-and-out -out lie. Jesus wants us all to get along better than that and to treat each other better than that. And so we have to be careful what we say and what we put out there about others. You know why Jesus would want us to be careful and always tell the truth and always get along with each other? Sure you do. It's because he loves us this much. So God bless you. God bless you that no matter what anybody says about you, you remember that you are the beloved child he created you to be. And good night.